Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use one of these and one of these to make this, the Gold Rush. Mmm, good. But first, this. So let's get into some history. Not that there's a lot here. Now, the Gold Rush was created by T.J. Segal at the original Milk and Honey in New York's Lower East Side. And it is featured in Robert Simonson's Three Ingredient Cocktail Book. Now, this Three Ingredient Cocktail, of course, is a variation of the classic Whiskey Sour. Now, of course, you don't have an egg white, and you don't have any bitters, and you swap the simple syrup for a rich honey syrup. So let's get into making one. So, of course, the first thing we need is our shaking glass. And the most important piece we need is some bourbon. Now I'm using a bullet bourbon. This is a rye bourbon that's 45% alcohol. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now of course the next thing we need is a little bit of honey syrup. And what I'm going to use is a rich honey syrup. This is a two to one honey syrup. So when I say that, I mean two parts honey, one part water. Of course, you heat it up so it combines properly. Now we need three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half milliliters. And of course, the next thing I need is some lemon juice. And I need fresh lemon juice. And of course, I need the same amount as I need as honey syrup to balance this out. So we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. And of course, a little bit of ice because what we're going to do is we're going to shake this for 10 to 15 seconds. And you want a decent amount of ice, of course. All right. So let's see, it's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna use this in a nice little rocks glass. And I don't want a little bit of ice, I want a nice solid piece of ice. And what we'll do is we'll use our Hawthorne strainer and we're gonna strain this neatly over this. This drink looks great, but we need a bit of a garnish. So we're gonna use a little bit of lemon and we're gonna do a lemon twist. So what I wanna do is I wanna, of course, peel my lemon directly underneath my drink, over top of my drink, not overneath. It's a new word, that, overneath. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze it and express it, rub it over there, and we're going to give this a little bit of a twist and have this right here. Look at that. A beautiful gold rush. It has a nice golden color, which is obviously where it got the name. And let's give it a smell. Well, of course, the first thing I smell is some citrus juice, but Barbarian Dave hasn't been out for a while, so we don't need that. Oh, that is great. Mmm, you can taste a little bit of the lemon juice, a little bit of the honey. Oh yeah, and the bourbon just shines through. Mm -mm. If you think I should use a different bourbon, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think I need to use. And you know what? Oh, that's so good. I'm going to put the method and the ingredients of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, Every time I make a new video, you will be notified. But if you don't like bourbon, and you don't like lemon and honey mixed together, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. Well, and it's a variation of the classic whiskey sour. Well, except here, bah, fucking hell, okay. This is a lemon, and it will be in this drink. And of course, it was featured in Robert Simonson's Three Ingredient co Cookbook, Cocktail Book, cookbook.
not a cookbook, it's a cocktail book. And I'm going to use here some bullet bourbon, which is a 45% alcohol by volume. And we need two ounces or 45 to 60 milliliters. My math is really bad. Mostly because I've tried drinking, tried making this drink so 